are to a point where a lot of us have children, you know what I mean, and we should be training our children to, you know, if, if we don't want to have firearms in, our, in the home, so be it, that's what's up. But at least put your child in some form of martial arts. Put him in some boxing, you know what I mean? He, he, a man's job is to learn how to defend himself. You have every single, just about every single animal knows how to defend itself. And you know, there's some animals that don't necessarily have a defense as far as an attack defense. They may define or defend themselves by concealing and covering. But um, I'm especially black youth in America. They should be taught how to defend themselves. They should first be taught how to fight properly. Uh, just so if they have to protect themselves, they don't put themselves in a situation where they can't do so and they get hurt. Also, that training builds up their tolerance where they won't necessarily be quick to engage someone. And speaking on that, in Georgia, if, uh, like in the case of the dude that rolled up on side of me, and me and him got into an argument, and I start arguing back with him, and he pulls out a gun on me, and I pull my gun out and shoot him and kill him, and I'm legally licensed, I'm actually, by law, on the wrong. Because I engaged him verbally. So that, with me knowing the law, it makes me say, you know what, I'm not going to argue back and forth on a dude because I got my pistol on me. Usually I have my pistol on me. And if I have my pistol on me and I get into a scuffle and that shit fall out, he's going to take it and use it against me. So the first thing I want to do is try not to shoot him, which means that I might have to use my hands, but I don't want to use my hands if my pistol's on me and it falls out. So the first thing I have to do is try to alleviate that situation verbally by, you know, through my behavior, you know, trying to show that I'm not trying to be threatening, uh, try to defuse the situation by talking my way out of it, you know, and, and most of us, we're so emotional, especially in the hood, that we think talking our way out of a situation is being a pussy, is not. It's being logical, it's being strategic. You know what I mean? I mean, back in the days, you know what I'm saying, a motherfucker be quick to go off, man. I've seen it. I've had brothers that it happened to. You know, I had a friend, uh, he was an older homeboy on my block, his name was Sean, and he got into a situation where dudes pulled out on him, and being a tough guy, he was like, yo, sh pull out on me, you gotta shoot me, and that's what they did. They shot him in return. Mm. And you know, that's like, to me, it's like, nah, you know, the whole purpose of having life is to survive. You know what I'm saying? So you want to survive not only by learning how to defend yourself with your hands, with your weapons, but with your mindset. You know what I mean? Not putting yourself in certain situations where you could be, you know, in danger. You know, not allowing yourself to get caught up and led into an argument with somebody. But being disciplined and having that type of control over yourself so that you can live to get home and see your family, your loved ones. You know what I mean? And too many of our people were just too quick to pop off. And we don't realize, like, a man that sit there and be quick to scream and fight and, and, and want to run up somebody's head and show how tough they are, that's usually, you know, for lack of a better term, that's usually some bitch shit. You know what I mean? Because you're being overly emotional. Right. You know what I'm saying? That, that you, you sitting there, you arguing, you screaming, your blood pressure's up, you want to fight somebody because you, you got so much anger that you got to put your hands on this person. That's being emotional. And a man should never let his emotions control him. Emotions are just like a warning. You know, it warns you of, oh, this woman might like me, so I like her too. Oh, there's fear around that corner. Let me not go that way. It's a warning. But you check it with your logic. And most of our people, we're not raised like that because unfortunately, we're raised by single mother household, uh, single mother households. And females are a lot more emotional than men. A lot of it is because they got to carry the baby for nine months, so they're built to be a lot more emotional so they can look after that baby, maintain it, and nurture it. Men are so logical that if we were the ones meant to carry a damn baby, we'd probably be like, oh, shit, it's impeding me from going out and getting money. Let's kill it. You know what I'm saying? But women, they're overly emotional so that they can sustain life. We create life, and they help to sustain that life and nurture that life. You know what I mean? That's why a woman, when we say a woman shouldn't you know, necessarily be out there working, a woman can work. That's, I have no problem with that. But it alleviates her stress if you can put her in a situation where she don't have to work. You know what I mean? My, my woman works. I tell her all, all the time, I'm like, yo, when you're 40, you're not working because I got to rush and build up enough currency so I can get you about that situation so you can focus on other things in the household where you could actually use their talents because women, they multitask, but they also become very stressful uh, when work, a lot of work is put on them. They're not built to, you know, take, absorb that stress. You know what I mean? We're built to absorb stress. We're built to, you know, go out there and absorb damage. You know what I mean? Physically as well. You know what I'm saying? So when females raise children on their own, not only are they naturally more emotional, but if they're in a single parent household, they might be bitter toward the man. So now they're going to raise that child to not only be emotional, 
but because they're constantly talking about, yo, your father ain't shit, he left me here, I ain't got no money, blah, 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 he ain't doing this, they raised that child to become, to have the mentality of a victim. And when you have the mentality of a victim and you're emotional, the first thing you do when you believe you're being victimized is you seek out a way to, to be vengeful, to get revenge. That's why they always say a woman scorn, man, shit. Hell has no fury like a woman scorn. Because they get so emotional, they've been doing like, you hurt me, I gotta hurt you back. Yeah, you know I mean, whereas a man take the shit on the shoulder, be like a, a real man take it on the shoulder, be like, ah, it is what it is. I'm not dead. You know what I mean? If you're gonna keep trying to hurt me, I just, just stay over there. I'm gonna work over here. I'm not trying to, you know, destroy your ass and destroy everything, you know, about you and shit. You know what I mean? But because we're raising these single family households, we end up taking on those emotional attributes and then we go out into the neighborhood and we start, you know, uh, identifying or really misunderstanding masculinity. We believe masculinity is the, the harder I bark, the more I stick my chest out, the more gangster I am, you know what I'm saying? The more thuggish I am, the more, I, oh nigga, I fight you, I do this, you know, I throw up my motherfucking hands, you know, bragging about a motherfucker being uh, fighting, which is losing control of your emotions and, and having to, uh, and which results in violence. We brag about being overly emotional, you know what I'm saying? You see, like, especially back in the days in New York, I see it out here in Atlanta where niggas get into arguments and they sit there and have a fucking screaming session trying to see who can scream on each other the loudest before they fight. You know what I'm saying? It's emotions. So we start taking on these emotions, and I don't like to say feminine characteristics, because I don't want to be disrespectful to our sisters, but we are taking on emotional characteristics, thinking we're being masculine and we're not being masculine. You know what I mean? We're actually acting out of character when we have to sit there and stick our chests out, scream, fight, want to act like a thug, and so forth. A uh, man that's logical is calculated. So if I know that you're really in my way and you're really gonna do danger, I'm just calculating on how to eliminate that danger, that threat. If you're physically trying to threaten me and harm me, and let's say you're bigger than me, your size is big, I'm like, okay, well, I'm not gonna muscle up with you. I'm not gonna get emotional. I'm about to strategize on how I'm gonna deal with you, whether that's kicking you in the nuts and then knee you in your face, or that's taking out your your, 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 your windows, your eyes, or, you know, finger jabbing your eyes, whatever. I'm calculating how to destroy you. And once, I'm, once I've destroyed you, I'm done. I'm now thinking about my family, you know, watching the UFC fight or playing some video games or something else. But I'm not gonna hold on to that shit. You know what I mean? That's what happened when brothers are too overly emotional. They hold on to, you know, that hate. And they have this need for vengeance, which means that they have a need and, and it, uh, for the destruction. Their mind is preoccupied with destroying, not building. You know what I mean? And they're not being a builder. They're going on a negative aspect, all right? And you know, my sons will tell you, like, you know, they get, sometimes I get on their nerves, but I, you know, they acting like a bitch. I say, yo, you acting like a bitch right now, you know what I mean? Not like a woman, like a bitch, because a woman should have self-control. A woman has self-control. She have, she uses her emotions. If she has self-control over her emotions, that, e that evolves into intuition. You know what I mean? When she becomes intuitively in tune, you know what I mean? But uh, a bitch is a female dog, you know what I mean? You act like a female savage right now, a female beast. And if you, you know, I have boys, I got four boys, I gotta constantly break up fights. I gotta mm -hmm. constantly break up arguments, you know what I mean? And, and in doing so, I gotta always make sure that they see where they're wrong at, as opposed to where the other person's wrong at. So they can deal with it in a logical way when they're faced with that circumstance again, especially if they face with it outside the home, where it becomes detrimental to respond the right way so that they make it home and not end up in a casket or in a cell, you know what I mean? If Mega did this.